All right, folks, welcome back to Are We There Yet? We are on our way. Playoff time. It's not as I expected against the team from the league above. That was Queen's Park, I think. It's actually against Elgin City, so it's against the team that finished slightly above us in the division. And that doesn't help at all. This is awful. Where's the league? There it is. So Elgin City finished, th uh, excuse me, second. <laughs> 59 points to our 57. If you notice, we actually finished with the best goal difference in the division. We just lost 11 games. Ugh. So, you know, we, 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 uh, if we just won a few more, that batch of five, not good enough. Uh, interestingly, that you'll, you'll see top goal scorer in the league as well. Not Davy Goodwillie, as you might have expected, as I expected. Attacking midfielder Matt Flynn with the goals that uh, lead the way in that regard. So it is playoff time. It's going to be tough because, well, we're not uh, nowhere near the best team in this. And uh, Smart Asadola has broken his foot. So he's out for three to five months, very specific. So I'll see you pitch side in just a minute. Home leg to come. First leg against Algin. One second, please. So here are your teams then. We're unchanged. We've stuck with Sandy McCluskey, David Goodwillie out left, Matt Flynn, uh, Ferguson on the right side, Barry, uh, Stuart MacArthur. And their team is, there's a few, I mean, they've got a McCluskey as well. It's McCluskey City. Uh, you know, when you play a team, this is our fifth game against Elgin. So <laughs> it's weird in Scotland. You seem to play the same teams a lot just because you do play each other four times. And then if you play them again in playoffs and cups, you, you know, you, you'll be playing a team four or five, six times a season at minimum. There we go. So fingers crossed. Oh, I tell you what, we, we're talking to the press all over the place. The Cumberland Football Daily again, Mark Hamilton. Uh, uh, yeah, just the one question today. It's playoff time. Players are walking out. And here we go. We're in the white. Our famous... Famous in Clyde, uh, famous white, all white shirts with the red trim. And where are we? C crossed in by Flynn, and Riley is there to pick up the loose ball, but he goes long, nobody there to retrieve. Duffy, all the time in the world, finds Stewart, who gives it back to Duffy. He goes long, looking for Ferguson. It's headed down to the enemy McCluskey, and that's a long ball over the top for Sutherland to chase, and he puts it wide. He probably should have done better with that. He had a lot of time and space, it seemed, to pick his spot, and he, he put it well wide of the target. And he's a, a throw in now for Elgin. Um, Stuart wins it back though and finds Sandy. Where's he going? He's got he's unpredictable. He has a strike from about eight hundred yards. And uh, well, uh, that was uh, yeah. It's Hegarty throw in. I don't know why Goodwill was so close to him. That's not a bad strike, but it's straight at Curry. I think we've actually got quite a good goalkeeper, you know. I know I've uh, been a little bit harsh. Here's Bradders, who uh, goes long for no particular reason. McGovern. Is McCluskey, who loses out to Bradley, he finds Duffy, and we can build. Barry, where will he go? He, will he look over the top? He doesn't. He goes left to Goodwillie. And uh, he charges down the middle towards Barry, and that's a poor ball. And this might actually turn into Elgin's chances. McNiff just seems to stand on it. And uh, here comes Riley down this right side. Sutherland's in the middle. He finds Sutherland, and that's uh, goalkeeper was nowhere. Can't really... Excuse the, the boys noise in the background. That's That's my cat destroying a box. He's excited for the game too. He wants to get up and see. Half an hour played. McNiff's free kick is uh, Barry. Can he cross? He can. And Sandy McCluskey. Is, he, is it counting? It counts. It stands. Sandy McCluskey with his first goal on camera. His first goal, hopefully, of many. Uh, missed jump there by Cameron. Allowed uh, Barry to cross the ball. And, well, I mean, it uh, wasn't the cleanest of goals. But a great strike from four yards from Sandy his first goal on camera, as I say, and put, gives us a lead in this playoff tie. Here's McNiff over a free kick. And it's it's gone in by the goalkeeper, and it's 2-0 to Clyde. The Broadwood Stadium is bouncing. It is rocking. The foundations are shaking. And here we go. McNiff steps over this week. He's not a bad free kick taker. You'd probably want your goalkeeper to do better than that, though. Uh, Mackay in goal there. Pretty poor. And we're not done for the first half yet. Here's Ferguson. He finds Barry. Uh, Stewart finds Flynn. No, he doesn't. And, uh, well, Sutherland can get there first, can he? No, he can't. Here's Bradley. He gives it all the way back to, to, Bri to Briar. Blair Curry. And here's McNiff. Yeah, that's fine. M MacArthur. Well, I mean, that's a terrible ball. But Hegarty, please mess up. No. Roscoe. Only goes as far as McNiff, though. And Goodwillie takes, his, takes time. Takes time on the ball. Gives it to Barry. He finds Goodwillie. 
who has an absolute thunderbolt into the top right bin. Davy Goodwill, just as I said, he wasn't scoring enough goals. Unleashes the fury and puts us in a really commanding position going into that second leg away at Elgin. You can see there, he gave it back to Barry, who gave it to him, to me, to you, between Barry and David. And that's a terrific strike. One of the goals of our season, no doubt. That's your half-time then. Superb first-half display. All those woodwork hits we had in that last game. It's all forgotten now. It's all forgotten. We've got a long way to go, though. I'll tell the players we're pleased because, again, why wouldn't you? You'd go in and you would say you're pleased, but we'll tell them there's a lot more to come from them, I'm sure. Goals there from McCluskey, McNiff and Goodwillie. Three Scotsmen. Three legends. And uh, just after the hour mark, a corner here for Algin. It's part clear, but only as far as uh, goes back out to McCluskey. Headed and... Well, it's offside, Cameron. I don't know how he's offside, but he was. I agree, referee, linesman. Well done. Great combination. We'll get a change in. Flynn's not been very good, our top goal scorer. So we'll get him off and probably bring on Datnovitz just to sit in the middle there. And uh, he has scored for us, and he scored quite a good goal. It was a, an instinctive volley. Just curved it over the goalkeeper. It's like a volley chipped lob combination. That's a blow, though. Bradley picking up an injury. He'll go off. He's quite simply our best defender, so that's that's a bit of a disappointment. Callum Home will come on to replace Bradley. As I say, that's that's a big blow. He's uh, by far and away our best defender, if not our best one of our best players. So potential upper body injury forcing him off without any doubt. So hopefully that's nothing too serious, and he'll be fit for certainly the hopefully if we make the final, uh, maybe even the second leg. It looks like time's going to run out, and we're going to run a walk out here. 3-0 winners on the night. Ferguson picks up the, uh, the retrieve ball. Long ball goes deep. Daknovitz keeps it in. Goes all the way back to Stuart MacArthur. Who I thought he should have cut inside there, but he finds Daknovitz down the outside. It's a penalty kick in the dying embers of the game. A penalty kick for Clyde. It's going to be David Goodwillie. Uh, can he put an absolute seal of gloss? 3-0 is one of the worst leads in any game. 4-0 is a little bit nicer. David Goodwillie... Dispatches, I don't even know why I doubted it. David got a 10th goal of the season and makes it 4-0 on the night. Obviously, therefore, 4-0. Look at that attendance. Top left-ish of your screen. 1,700 fans packed in to the Broadwood. There, we've captured the imagination of the, of the, uh, the local area, it seems. And uh, hopefully we can secure promotion to the League One. That'll be a big boost to us. Whether we stay, whether we don't, I don't know at this stage. It's a journeyman. The idea is we journey around. But if there's no better offers then why not stay, at least for a while. And uh, that should be game as uh, it, the final whistle blows. And a 4-0, a fine 4-0 performance. What a way to, to get the playoffs started. Superb. No one really gave us a chance, and we've crushed the team that finished above us in second place. Whew, my word. I think what we'll do, and oh, that's bad news, isn't it? Because that's Bradley, fractured ribs. He needs to go and see physio specialists. And he'll certainly miss the rest. I mean, he's only 19 and he's easily one of our best players. In fairness, he's on loan from Glasgow Rangers. So, yeah, he probably is quite rightly one of our best players. But it is going to be a big loss for the next leg and certainly the final should we complete the job. I think what we'll do is we will carry on. We'll make this a slightly longer episode and we'll do the second leg because it was a 4-0 and we want to, I, I want to see how it goes. I don't want to wait. So I'll see you at the starter, ready for the next game. We'll run through the teams and anything that's happened in between. See you in just a moment. Right then, folks, second leg time. 4-0 up, remember. And we're off to Borough Briggs in Elgin. And the only change is the enforced one. Bradley is replaced by home. And hopefully we can go home with a fine win and progress through to that playoff final. I don't really know the format of the final. If it's just... It's, uh, yeah, sweet look good intro. Come on. So much chatting. Can we talk after the game? Is that a possibility? Big, big fuller house here, it seems. Or fullish house. And uh, again, white team yeah, is us. And we're going left to right as uh, McCluskey, the enemy McCluskey, loses out to Stewart. And it's a throw in just after 15 seconds. And 15 or so minutes played. Uh, ball cleared here to Stewart, as it turns out. And uh, Hegarty is there. But home. What can he do? Can he pick a probing ball? He gives back left to Stewart. He goes to MacArthur. We're moving the ball very wildly, it seems. You know, it's going left, right. I think we're causing us more problems than them. McLeish, that's a great tackle for McNiff. Wonderful tackle. Not a bad ball up either. 
And here we come again. Here's McCluskey, the good McCluskey. Good Willie to Barry. Goes right out right to the right side now with, with Duffy, Fairns Ferguson. Barry again, Flynn. And uh, Sandy, no, it's David Goodwillie. Crosses, it's at the back post. And Scott Ferguson scores. Surely that's the final goal. Oh, final goal? Surely <laughs> that's the goal that seals our progress into the playoff final. And all of a sudden it seems real, doesn't it? Sandy there, just tackled as he was probably about to take a touch and pull the trigger. But that's a great ball by David Goodwillie. Interestingly as well, David Goodwillie, uh, he's declining to sign a new deal because he feels that the, the quality at the club, and he's probably right, uh, just isn't good enough to match his ambitions. You might remember that he was linked to have League One uh, English sides uh, like Oldham. So if I think he'll, he'll definitely get a, a club there. And as I'm talking, Shane Sutherland gives Albion City hope. I would have liked to have hung on a little bit longer than this. A free kick there by the, the enemy, McCluskey. Uh, I don't know if we, we didn't win the head of Sam Rusko. And our goalkeeper's a little bit out of position. He's a little bit too off to the left. And straight from the kickoff, hopefully they don't score two in quick succession. That's a long ball towards Sandy. Doesn't reach him. Barry finds Sandy. He's got a good willy out left, but he, the pass is a little bit behind him. And McLeish springs the trap. And he's in, and he shoots bizarrely wide. They should really be 2-1 up on the night, which would give them a, a good springboard or a good platform to build a recovery on. And hopefully this isn't the start, the start of something pretty nightmarish. And here's Good Willy. What's he going to do? Is he just going to pump it long into no man's land? No, he finds Flynn. And he pumps it long into no man's land. No, he doesn't. Ferguson's here. Barry. Good Willy. And uh, he took a little bit more on than he needed to. Flynn. And it finds its way to Ferguson. And he should have gone wide to the goalkeeper there. Yes, yeah, a lot of the goal to aim at, but it was straight at. The goalkeeper, Mackay, and he tips over the crossbar. Ferguson with the resulting corner. Nothing expected. And uh, Goodwillie finds Stewart. He finds Goodwillie. Barry Flynn, is there? No. Maybe it looked as though there should have been. But it wasn't. Half an hour played. 1-1. One, one. Just approaching half-time. A, a throw in here. Uh, Duffy finds Flynn. who goes long, but it just cuts cuts out all Clyde players. Duffy heads down and really should have taken it on his chest. But he manages to come back. Here's Flynn now centrally. Goodwillie. This is when you need to carry the ball out. Uh, and uh, well not straight at the opposition that's uh, that's the idea Dave here's Goodwillie again he gets another chance this time he skips past his man and runs into his own man it's, oh it's a comedy of errors Stuart finds Flynn and what is this is this football McLeish is going to win that race and McLeish wide again he's been our best player has uh, McLeish because he's had a couple of guilt edge chances and blundered both uh, all for because we can't pass the ball half time then 1-1 one, one on the night. Queen's Park, it looks as though they're beating Sterling. I don't know how that was in the first leg, though, so it might be uh, if uh, it might be like this game where it's... Let's be honest, I, I st we're still well on top. You know, if you're a betting man, then you're not going to be betting on Algin at this stage, unless you're a devout England... I was going to say England. No one's an England fan. Uh, up here, anyway, especially. Ooh, uh, Algin fan. David Goodley over a free kick. And a crossbar. And, uh, oh, how did he manage to miss that? I don't even know what occurred. But it uh, didn't go in, which would have really uh, helped. And we've hit the crossbar. Uh, MacArthur over another free kick. This time it's towards the left-hand side where there wasn't really any of our players. But Duffy, he's got a good spring on him to, to get in there. And Goodwillie... Well, I mean, it's a pass, isn't it? To think that Blackburn spent money on the man. Here's uh, Blair Curry. Here's Callum home. Oh, my. Oh, my, Callum. That's the difference between Bradley, well, a footballer, and Callum home. Because that was horrendous. Will we see it? Yes, we will. Callum home there. I mean, he lets the ball get quite far away from him and then makes no effort to try and get it back. Slides in from nowhere. Didn't have to use any skill, and Shane Sutherland taps it across. And McLeish, as bad as McLeish has been so far, he's not going to miss that one. And I am, I'm a little bit concerned, especially now we're going straight from kickoff, that we've just got players that are just not good enough. McCluskey heads on, Ferguson can't get there. Bapti gives it to Kane. That's not Harry, is it? Oh, Sandy, go on, Sandy. Oh, straight at Mackay. But uh, good poacher's instincts there from Sandy to rob the ball off the uh, Elgin defender. And uh, at least resolves my concerns that we were going to concede two in quick succession. Still a long way to go, though. I would have liked to have got to at least the 70th minute mark before they were going to score again. Although I do think it was attributable to our error rather than their good play. I think we like a change now. Nearly 70 minutes on the clock. We've nearly made it to that 70 minutes that I wanted to get to. I think we're going to bring off home because I think he's crap, to be honest. I will get Breslin on. 
And here's a corner. The the crap McCluskey, the crap McCluskey, the bad McCluskey, and uh, that seemed to be very key chance. But uh, Curry's there to get it this time. That seemed like something was about to happen. We've had three clear cut chances today. Hit the crossbar. Ah. <laughs> uh, all you can do is laugh when as when you get away with it. I suppose. I I don't know what that was. Oh my good days. Let's get Dat Nevitz on because reasons unknown. Still waiting on that first name. I'm going to call him Sla. I think we're past the, the point of no return now for Elgin. Three goals to, to pull it back at this stage. I don't think that's going to happen for them with five minutes or so to play. I think it is going to be ourselves progressing to the final. I think we deserve it. I think we've been the better team tonight. I think we've been certainly the better team in the first leg. Um, Bradley's a big miss for us, of course, the, the injured Bradley, Rangers defender. And that, I think that is the point. If we stay with Clyde, Regardless of what division we're in next year, we are really going to have to exploit that low market for Celtic and Rangers players, uh, probably Aberdeen and Hearts as well. But, it, well, anywhere, to be honest, any players, anyone can come and play for, for us. Anyone at all. So it's great to be in the final. We're not sure who it's going to be against. Bear with us just a second and we'll see. That's a lot of teams playing in a playoff. How many games are there? Is there a tree? There's the championship final. The relegation playoff final is between ourselves and Sterling. Now, Sterling, they finished fourth. So they're a team that we've, we've finished above in the league. I mean, it takes an age to find the league table these days. There we go. So we finished we finished third. Sterling finished fourth. So it's two teams that finished on 57 points, playing off to, for a chance to play in the league one. Whew. I think we did well to, to beat them, um, to beat, uh, who did we beat? Elgin, yes, no disrespect Elgin. So it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be Sterling and hopefully we can be the team that's lifting, I assume we get a trophy if we win it. Um, yeah, they beat Queen's Park 4-1, so it proves that the, the levels are probably about similar. So if we do go up and manage to keep the squad, or some of the squad together, you know, we, we'll see what we can do. The... Uh, it is a two-legged affair, is it? It says the first leg will be played at fourth bank. Yes, it is. So we get a home and an away leg. Oh, we get the home leg second. That could be key. I think what we'll do is we'll bring both legs together. It starts on Tuesday and ends on Saturday. So both legs will come in the same video. And hopefully we can progress to that next stage of the uh, Scottish League pyramid. And then we'll make a decision as to what we're going to do in regards to the journey. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching today. Do pop a like on the video and uh, subscribe. It would mean the world. I'll see you again on the next video. Goodbye.